Hello everyone, Magnum73 here. Today I'm going to be playing Red Dead Redemption 2. This is actually going to be a new video series I'm starting. Going over the locations of where you can find some of the legendary animals in this game. There are 19 total, but in this video I'm going to be covering two of them. We're going to be finding the legendary bear and the legendary white-tailed buck, which I think you guys will like. And in order to be able to hunt any of these legendary animals at all, you have to complete a mission with Hosea, uh, one of the camp members, and he takes you out to the mountains to go after this legendary bear. And upon killing this legendary bear, Hosea gives you a map that shows you the locations of the 19 legendary animals in the game. We'll take a look at that map here in a bit, but for the first part of this video, I just want you to see the gameplay of me taking down the legendary bear and getting that map. And afterwards, we'll go after the legendary white-tailed buck. Let me know what you think of these legendary animals in the comments down below. And thank you for watching, as always. We'll try our luck down by the water. Butter, that's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. Uh, I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, I have some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. Tracks go into those trees. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we... Split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? Let's split up. Okay. I'll head this way. You head down that track.
Pig, please! Look out! You know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> You coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well... I'm gonna stick around here for a while. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! Got a trail. Ain't close. Getting close. One of the hunting mechanics I can appreciate in this game is the fact that you're able to field dress animals after killing them. Something I've always wanted to see in a hunting game. I know it'll probably never make its way into Call of the Wild, but I do appreciate the fact that Red Dead Redemption 2 has it. Here's the legendary animal map I was talking about. Upon turning our pelts into the trapper, we can get some pretty cool garments crafted, as well as some cash. We'll go ahead and show you what we can get out of this bear. While the game doesn't have taxidermy, I think this kind of makes up for it. So you see I got the pelt here. Get a decent chunk of money for it. And on to the hat. Here it is. As you can see, there's a whole outfit that I can craft, but I only have enough to be able to craft the hat, which is fine for now. I could work on getting everything else later on. Alright, now on to one of my favorite legendary animals in the game. We're gonna be going after the legendary whitetail buck. I'm over here in a forested area. I'll go ahead and pull up the map and show that to you. So the area we're going to be finding this legendary animal is going to be north of Owengila, west of Strawberry, and the West Elizabeth region. Oh 
Okay, then. Got some ground to cover. Reckon I got a ways to go. And there we have it. A massive piebald whitetail buck. Very good looking one at that. There he is. And what would this be without a proper trophy shot? Yeah. Like I said, one of my favorite legendary animals in the game. So we'll go ahead and take him to the trapper. I'm not even going to bother skinning him. I could stow him on the back of my horse. And that was a creepy sound. Just gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. Be on my way. And we'll sell it to the trapper for yet another decent amount of cash. And in order to be able to craft the legendary buck vest, I had to find a perfect bighorn ram. And after a little while of searching, I got one here. And real quick for anybody that needs to find a good bighorn spot, I recommend Cattail Pond. It's going to be just west of Valentine. Got him right here, we'll go ahead and take him out. Alright, let's skin him and take him to the trapper. And so with the perfect big horn pelt, we have the legendary buck vest. Very cool looking. And we'll end with that. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please leave me suggestions of which animals you want me to go after next. And I'm probably going to cover the legendary fish at some point, because why not? Until then, be safe everybody, and thanks for watching.